Brad from Highway and Civilized, and today we're going to make fermented lemons. So I have a big bowl of lemons here. Uh, I was coming home the other day, and uh, my neighbor had a big bag of lemons out on the street from their tree, and it said, please help take some lemons. So we took about half a bag of lemons. We had some of the neighbor's lemons. We had some lemons from our lemon tree. I think we had some, got some Meyer lemons here from uh, another neighbor's tree. So we're going to take all these lemons and we're going to make something that is very popular in other parts of the world, but not so much in the United States. Uh, we're going to take lemons, we're going to ferment, ferment them. It takes about uh, four weeks. And when they're fermented, you can eat every part of the lemon, including the skin. It completely changes the, uh, changes the lemon. So it's used a lot in Moroccan food and North African food. And the last time I did this, when I wrote an article, you know, I was pretty honest that I think I make Moroccan food about never ever and i don't make any north african food so what else can you use it for you can put fermented lemon on uh, salmon on the grill you can put it on a roast uh, you can use it for your hummus actually probably the, our favorite was in the hummus and we got some fresh chickpeas over here to make some hummus later but let's get this going so we got a bowl of lemons we're probably going to use seven or eight of these to put in the jar and then we're going to use the rest of them to juice so we've got a juicer I'm going to pour the juice over the top of it. We've got sea salt. You want to use sea salt or kosher salt for fermenting because uh, regular table salt has iodine and some other junk in it that you don't want. It can stop your fermenting projects from working and it can discolor uh, the food. Um, also it has clump, anti-clumping agents and things like that that you probably don't want to eat. So we have some little fancier Himalayan pink salt and some really cheap Hain sea salt. So we're going to use three quarters of a cup of salt for this project in this container. I'm going to cut them with this knife, add a cinnamon stick, and then uh, I'm going to cut the lemon, uh, quarter it. So basically quarter the lemon but not all the way through. So like this. Let's take a good one here. Okay, almost all the way down to the bottom. And then I'm going to put salt inside there over this bowl. And the lemon juice is going to come out a little bit. When I'm done, I'll just pour the lemon juice into the container. So basically, these will, will get salted. The salt is going to pull the liquid out. And the salt is going to prevent the uh, bad bacteria uh, from growing in your project here. And it's going to allow the beneficial bacteria that ferments the lemons to basically convert this whole thing into an edible lemon. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what the final product should look like. So this is going to sit on the countertop for about four weeks, and these peels will get really soft. And uh, once it gets like that, I'm going to put it into the refrigerator to stop the fermenting. So what did we learn? Well, these lemons are a lot bigger than the lemons I used last time. I used little Meyer lemons, so I didn't quite fit seven of them in this container. Also, I only used half a cup of salt instead of three quarters of a cup of salt. Someone stuck an orange in my lemon pile, so we don't want the orange in there. I'll have to eat that. And this does squirt lemon juice in your face, so you may want to wear goggles or do something like that. So that was about as easy as it could be. You have to learn to think fast when you're making fermented lemons. So uh, 
what I'll do every couple of days is just to give this a good shake and a twist because you can see all the salt is settling down here. We want it to do that. And then we'll come back in a month and see what it tastes like. See, I've got the lemon or the uh, cinnamon stick right down the middle there. Okay, so that's it. That's how easy it is to make fermented lemons. Now you set it on the counter at room temperature for four weeks and then you come back. So we'll talk to you then.